then later on, this is where Admiral Nelson based all the British naval warships, including HMS Victory. In fact, HMS Victory's berth is just on our right-hand side at the moment. That little curve in the road, a little dent in the water there, that's where HMS Victory was berthed. Nelson's headquarters was in a, uh, uh, HMS Fort St. Angelo, which is now on our left-hand side. While Nelson was here, he lived in the building that's right in front of us. It's got a brightly lit windows and roof. It's near the casino. That's where Nelson lived. Next to that, you see the brown building with the clock towers? That was the bakery. And then along from that was the treasury. Now, not only did Nelson use this as a bakery, but so did the knights. Not only did Nelson use the treasury to pay his sailors, so did the knights. We're now entering the stronghold of the Knights of St. John. Okay, it's about here that they ran the big chain across, and then a little bit further down is where they had the bridge of barges so they could run soldiers back and forward between the two points of land, trying to defend it from constant attack by the Muslim Ottoman Turks. So forget all the super yachts and the flash boats that are in here. Just think of this place full of the wooden sailing ships. Literally a thousand years worth. Now underneath Fort St. Angelo is a Greek temple. They found it about 15 years ago when they were restoring the foundations of Fort St. Angelo. So even the Greeks were here. Even this part of the harbour was full of Greek ships. Now that's nearly two and a half thousand, nearly three thousand years ago. So the British Navy are here. Now, in those days, when you went to sea as a sailor, you were at sea for three or four months. No, no drinking other than your tot of rum. No women, unless you'd smuggled one on board. So what used to happen is the galleys, the warships, the navy used to come in here, and all the officers, because the knights had lived in Burgu, which is the town behind, it's right in front of us, behind Fort St. Angelo, that's where the nice houses were. So of course this is where the officers lived. So the ships were anchored, all the soldiers were brought over to the treasury, uh, the sailors, brought over to the treasury, paid, and of course they wanted to party. Been at sea for months, nothing. So, the officers go to their nice homes and their nice little restaurants and whatever they used to have in those days, but the sailors go across the water. Now if you look down on our right hand side, you can see a lot of bright lights, there's all cafes and wine bars and all that kind of stuff down there. This was known as the gut. This is where the sailors parted. Right up to 1978 when the last British warship left the Grand Harbour. This is where, when they got off the ships, they went over there and it was full of dodgy bars, even dodgier women, and some great beer. So while the officers sat all very nicely around uh, Mr. Nelson, the sailors parted like hell across the water there. Can you imagine the sounds, the noise, all these sailors having been at sea for months, suddenly paid and let loose on the other side of Galley Creek. I'm going to turn here because we're going to run out of water very soon and uh, you just soak in the atmosphere. Down at the bottom by the way, the building still exists.